welcome back to the Board Game Closet. I'm Bradley. I'm Rod. And today we're talking about Rochambeau. Rochambeau. Normally, that's a uh, rock, paper, scissors, right. right? Exactly. This, though, is the strategic board game of rock, paper, and scissors. This has a board, has pieces, it has multiple hands, has multiple hands, dice, dice cards, everything you could ask for. Exactly. So, when you begin to play, you set up your pieces, of course, and this is where it's similar to chess, and that every, you know, rock, paper, and scissors has a place and order that it goes on the board. And then, before you get to your movement, which you have two of, you roll dice. Everyone has a blue, everyone has a red. Where they meet up is where you would place your token. So, you, it's a card, you'll draw two, you'll look at them, I get to keep one, and then I get to give my opponent the other one. So you kind of know in that round what's in your opponent's hand, right? right? Mm -hmm. So that makes it really interesting. And then you have a different set of abilities that are are enacted whenever you play that card down. So for instance, uh, this one says play before your turn is over. So you could do this at any time uh, and you actually switch places with any other unit. Right. So that's really cool and adds a whole nother layer to the strategy. Right. So you go back and forth like that until there's no players left uh, on the board. It's just that simple. You line it up like chess, you have two movements, only forward or sideways, and then you fight. Some pieces, let's talk about combat, exactly. some pieces um, have an advantage, right? Right. So if you have scissors and paper going against each other, scissors has the advantage, right? Scissors has the advantage and gets two dice where paper we get one. will only get one. So it is possible for paper to lose, for scissors to lose. Uh, there's you know a little more chance of one of them losing, of course, but it's not like you would imagine when in the actual game, paper is going to lose automatically. In this game, he actually has a chance to defend himself, especially when you take into consideration the, the cards. cards that you have yeah. in your hand. So it's super strategic. There's a lot of replayability. The cards, you know, you don't play through in one game. So you could come back to this and have a totally different game every time. So you've got an entry level game mm -hmm. that becomes very strategic so it can be played at a high level. Yes. So that's the great thing about the game. Mm -hmm. is that anyone can play it, but it takes a lot to become a master of the game. So I'd say this is, this is a pretty nice little game here. Yeah, that's right. And, and again, the tokens move every turn. It's not just every game. Right. Maybe they'll be in the middle. Maybe they'll be closer to you. Maybe they'll be closer to them. And so, again, you play the game again. You have one more turn. It's going to be completely different. And also, you may not know what card you're going to get. So there's chance. There's risk. The figurines fantastic out of this world. Yeah. They're super, like, artsy. You know, you could even put them like on a shelf somewhere yeah. or something and yeah. display them. They're really cool. Yeah. Um, the, the board is cool. It's two-sided until you get used to, until you get used to the, the directions. Uh, one side is blue, one side is red, like I said before. So once you kind of get that whole system down, you can turn it over and then actually have some terrain to play on, which is really, they didn't have to do that. Nope. That's really cool. It's nice. So yeah, go check it out. It's on Kickstarter. Um, thanks for stopping by. See you later. Bye-bye.